Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna vlog without a script so this could go horribly wrong and I could ramble for 21 minutes like I did last time and then die cutting the footage but I'll try my best not to do that, you know, for health and safety reasons This is 0612TV Welcome aboard Actually today I do have something legit to tell you about and that is this phone now, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've had this Samsung Galaxy Nexus for about a month now. Everything's been absolutely fine and dandy until a few days back. Now, I'm not saying the phone didn't crash now and then, because it did, um, about once every five days on average. But that's okay, because I've been pushing it to its limits. However, today is Wednesday, on Monday, that is two days back, my phone crashed out of nowhere. So I thought, okay, let it restart, it'll be fine. 10 minutes later, it crashed again, and that kept happening, and the crashes got more frequent, and the next thing I know, the phone was stuck in a reset loop. Basically, the booting screen showed up, and then it stayed. It just continued showing that booting animation for forever. And I was like, great, except I didn't say great. Because you see, after digging around on the internet, I realized that the only way to recover from that is to do a factory reset and lose all my data, in which I did and lost all my data. The more critical of my data was preserved, not on a phone, but because everything was actually seamlessly backed up onto the Google servers. So I managed to keep my contacts, I managed to keep my calendar, I managed to keep a catalog of all the apps I had downloaded. So the moment I restored this device, all the apps started streaming in right away. But my media, which was not backed up, was all lost. So well, I thought I'd make the best out of the situation and take this opportunity to actually root my phone, which I did. So now my phone is unlocked and rooted. I am still running the stock Ice Cream Sandwich firmware. However, I do have Super User installed and I have some root-only programs running. So I'm happy to be a rooted user right now, but this recent incident has left a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth. I just feel like, you know, a phone shouldn't just self-destruct in such a manner. I mean, what if I was outside and I needed to use the phone right away? Stranded. So it is a tad worrying. And then I realized there was this one fundamental flaw with this phone. And the best part is, this flaw was made known to you since before you bought the phone. But at least for me, I didn't recognize the implications until, you know, this recent event. What am I talking about? Well, this phone does not have an external SD card slot. Now, I was aware of this fact when I got the phone, and I thought to myself, well, that's okay. After all, I have all the space inside the phone instead of on an external card. And I happen to know that SD cards have their own set of issues. So I'm like, okay, not a deal breaker. But after this incident, I realized that you just cannot put all your eggs in one basket, or all your data in one memory bank. Because in the event of a factory reset, everything you have is gone. And even now, as a rooted user, I cannot just use titanium backup to keep myself safe. You see, everything would have been okay if I could backup to SD card. If at any point of time I wanted to factory reset my phone, I could remove that card and let it wipe itself. Then put the card back, and I have everything back in my hands. This is something I cannot do sans an SD card slot, and that is the major issue. Like I said earlier, if I had titanium backup and an SD card, I'll be able to get the phone up and running after a factory reset in mere minutes. But that's not something I can do right now because everything is inside. If you wipe, you lose everything. So if your data backed up externally means you have to rely on something else like a PC, which is quite unfortunate. Like I mentioned earlier, if this dies while you're outside, you're pretty much screwed because there's no way you can restore it on the fly. And then there comes an additional inconvenience. When I get my media files back onto the phone itself, backing up the phone will be a serious pain. If I have 8 or 9 gigabytes of media, in addition to program files, this is going to take a really long time to back up. Restoring it as well won't be easy because there's so much data that needs to be moved. And this is one of the fundamental flaws of missing an SD card slot. I don't know when I'll ever need to actually do a factory reset again, I hope that is either never or when I'm extremely prepared for it, but there is no guarantee that this won't fail on the field. Now, having said all that, I'm not saying I hate this phone. It is still a marvelous piece of hardware running an amazing piece of software. 
I still love the phone and all the things it can do, but it just worries me when it's going to throw up its hands and quit trying. Having had many years of experience with a Windows ME PC, I guess I have sort of been conditioned to make constant backups and stuff. So the first thing I can say is, well, this incident hasn't impacted me too, too badly. Plus, I guess making backups in the future will become some sort of a second nature to me. So I guess I'll live fine with this. But I sort of can't imagine the casual user having to put up with this kind of stuff. So of course, there is a little bit of a usability snack that may require looking into. But once again, having said all that, I still love this phone and it is still amazing. And I've just realized that even though I mapped out this entire vlog in my head, I did not actually prepare a way to close this vlog. This is what happens when you leave things to the seat of your pants. So yes, let us wrap up this vlog by saying that this phone died on me. I managed to get it going again, but it worries me that something else could happen to it. But that's all there is for this little vlog. Just to let you know that all devices have their shortcomings. And I guess with modern devices, you need to be prepared for emergencies. But that's all there is for today's vlog. A very quick plug, if you jump over to my friend Eugene's channel, you'll find that we did a new video. It was uploaded on Sunday, so it's a couple of days old already. But yes, take a look. Show him some love. And I believe I'm saying this for the third time, but that's all there is for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, you are watching 0612 TV.